Hello guys, I'll explain to you how to install for V1.30, pardon the pun. Uh, so first of all, you need to open up Chrome or your internet browser and download Python 64-bit because, well, that's what you need. <laughs> okay, so it's python.org, very simple. All right, and you need to go into downloads and then, well, well, this is for Windows, so Windows. And then just find the latest version. Uh, I don't know about these, but the latest one seems to be 3.65. I'm guessing these are betas, so there's no point in downloading the betas. And I don't know if it works, but you can try it yourself. But for me, there's no point. And then all you need to do is find the dash 64. And uh, I'm going to use the executable installer. Not the web installer, you, could, you should basically use the same. And it should download. And then just open it up. And this should come up. If it doesn't come up and it says upgrade now, go on to control panel, uninstall program, and uninstall Python 32 bit or whatever, or six, and 64 if you have both of them. And then click add Python 3.6 to path. This is what you need. Install now. Next up, while this installs, go into the description, paste in this link or click on the link. It should take you to GitHub. And then just click clone or download, download zip. And it should start downloading. Now that's downloaded, you can open it up in 7-zip or WinRAR. And like me with Ortho, I'll put it on the main, well, on the root of the drive. You might have it in a different place, like the desktop here, which is empty, or anywhere really, or downloads if you're really lazy. Now, oh, setup was successful, you can just close this off. Whilst WinRAR does this thing, uh, you need to go and download the libraries for Python. Whilst WinRAR does its thing, or it should really open up that it should really open up quickly, but whilst it does it for me because it's in the VM, because I don't want to redo all of this. You need to download the packages or libraries, which are in the install instructions here. Doesn't really matter. You can find them all in the description. You can just click and download, but it's a notepad for me, so I'll just show you quickly. So let's say you want PyProj, which is here. You press Control F, PyProj. Click on this, and depending on the version you have, CP36. So we have Python 3.6.5, it's this version. If it's 3.7.0 or other, it's this version, or 3.5, which also works, 3.5.0, it's this version. And it needs to be AMD64. Just click on it, and it should download. Don't need that. Fuck off. All right. So just download all of them. Oh, there we go. All right. Winner is up. So I'm just gonna put it on my main drive root folder. Don't know why it's like that. Okay, go. All you need to do is you get that, drag it, and whilst we're in here, 
and waiting for this to download. You can make your life easier by opening up Python without needing to open PowerShell. Because Python is very good, isn't it? So, you need to right click New Text Document, and if you don't have a TXT, I'll show you in a sec. Just type in run .bat. if you want, click yes. And if you didn't get the TXT, all you need to do is up here, click on view, and then file name extensions, make sure that's ticked. And then you'll get that. Right click, edit, and just like in the install instructions here, this should be a step. Oh, this is really bad. But in the install instructions, you have this command here. All you need to do is copy that and paste that in. And then just click file, save. No, it's, it would not work if you double click it because of the packages you don't have. Them. So, what you need to do is go to downloads. So I'll still wait for that to download. But you should have all of these. So, this should be a WHL file. So, just shift, right click, and then open PowerShell window here. Here you go. Now, the commands will also be in the description, but they're all in the instructions if you don't want to go into the description for whatever reason. Paste that in, enter. Should start downloading it to upgrade for pip. Try it again then, I guess. You need to paste that in again. And then it gives you the command that you need to type in. I like over that, control C it, control F E. And it says you're already up to date. Which is good. I don't know why it closed that, but shift right click, open window shell here again. Now all you need to do is pip install request. Yeah, I have it in my path. Now, next to mind is this, but I'm just going to not use the first part and just do pip install in my pip clipboard. Ow. So, what you need to do is, I actually don't need that in the clipboard. As you have your files extensions not hidden anymore. All you need to do is type that in, copy the name of this, paste, and there you go. And it should start to install them. And if you do get an error saying not found or something, make sure when you do shift right click, open PowerShell window here, it is where these WHL files are because it's not going to work. Should I quickly go through those? Alright, now that's finished, all you need to do is go back to your ortho and then double click on round up that and because and now because I messed up my command prompt it will give me an error but for you, or if that path file doesn't work, just make sure that you shift right click and then open window and uh, open PowerShell, <sighs> execute that, and it should work. And you now have 1.3, but if you close this window, it closes also. All right, now that you have the new also. You just need to double click to run that file and then type in your base folder, which is basically where all your tiles is. Mine is my, in my custom scenery. And the new cool thing is when you click the map, you get everything here 
with the source and the zoom level. As you can see, Norway 16, Bing 16, here 16, maybe I have a 15, I don't know. Yeah, Bing 15, here you go. So what you need to do to redo the mesh is just let's say I'm going to do Jersey because Jersey has a slope one way. Just click assemble vector data, triangulate 3D mesh, draw water masks if you want. Build in uh, and you need to build the imagery and you can extract the over uh, uh, overlays if you want. I can't read. I'm going to do all of them except I already done the overlays. If you do want to do the overlays, don't, what you need to do is, I don't know why you need this. Uh, links your tiles there. What you need to do, I'm using my HD Global Scenery, so I'd use that for my overlays. Now all you need to do, after you've done that, batch build, and then it should be good to go. So... Yeah, I nearly didn't choose Zoom level 16. But yeah, make sure your imagery or source is the same and Zoom level is the same and it should be all good. Because you don't want to do the source or the tile again just for nothing and then have to redo it again. So this shouldn't take too long because it's just two islands. But yeah, going through the settings while you wait. Should be here. You can experiment with it and mess with it. I zoom level airport seems like a new thing. Basically, wherever there's an airport, it will use a high zoom level. Probably like 19. I don't know. Doesn't say it here. Um, experimental water. I don't know. But, yeah, you can experiment with this if you want. I'm not going to experiment with it. It's fine for me. And yeah, I'll just leave this to run. Make sure you click apply, by the way. Uh, if you do click, if you do have this CMD window here, you can't close it, otherwise you close all 44 XP, which won't be good. So yeah. I'll be back once it's done. So this one tell took three minutes. It might take longer for you, depending on what, what you want to do. You might not need to use a step 2.5, but I used it. But uh, yeah. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to launch X-Plane. And I'm going to let you see the slope runway. Goodness. From Jersey. So yeah, in a bit. Alright, here you go. It's Jersey. And, well, if you just zoom in, you can see that well, it's not flat anymore. And it's curved. Which is quite cool. And that doesn't take too long of a setup, but doing all of the awful photos again, well, you're not really redoing them, but redoing the mesh. That is going to take the longest part, which would not be a nice fun part, but it might just all be worth it in the end, because slow runways are better than nothing. And a grass plane at Jersey. There you go. That didn't take too long, wasn't too complex. Well, maybe because I've already done it once, might be complex for you. Any questions, leave them in the comment section. Okay. Yeah. And that's about it. And enjoy your all for an X-Plane. Thanks for watching, and see ya.